I've got a plan for this greenhouse. In today's video, I'm gonna repair this greenhouse and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stick around and uh, let me show you the final results of me repairing this greenhouse. So this is uh, poison ivy. It's gonna have to go away. See that raggedy root? That's poison ivy in the winter time. Now those are not next to it, but that's poison ivy. We were able to find the graft line on this tree and it's more of a vertical grafting on the uh, on the stem there. You can just barely make it out right there. Checking on the trees. Garlic is uh, starting to come on a little bit. I think daylight helped it sprout. Got radishes. Whoa, that glass is old and brittle. I'll be right back. Here we go. A uh, few radishes, they're nice and sturdy. English breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry, you UK bums. It's not the English breakfast, but the French breakfast, of course. Ooh la la. And will it grow seed? Has still not showed up. Onion, uh, actually it's a garlic chive seed. I sowed it so that it would do its stratification out here in the outside under cover. It looks like everything's going well. So I tried to think about the direction the water pours in for these. I don't guess it matters. Like that, so it can breathe. Now we've got a valve. And some of us uh, like to live dangerously, you know. And if you've ever owned a greenhouse, you know what I'm talking about. Experimentations with bamboo as a natural thermocline barrier. We got some fig that survived and uh, Waiting to see on some of the other stuff. Looking for blueberry and rose. Speaking of, let me show you the cuttings I started. Overwinter peppers. I probably need to start trimming these back. Got some volunteers that I'm going to grow out and identify, if nothing else. I'm hoping this is chocolate vine. I planted this last January, and if that if planted this last January and if this is chocolate vine I've got one but um, I'm looking for a date when I planted oregano that's what I need right there I'm gonna start a bunch of rosemary Miss Woodcutter is I gotta empty that for her so that we can mix a soil base for the greenhouse. This is too humid out here. Not good. I'm gonna spray it down with a light hydrogen peroxide mixer. Cat, no, get out of my greenhouse. That would be a huge mistake if I threw my cat out of my greenhouse. Who's gonna keep the little mice from nibbling? So I was talking to Amy the other day and she wanted me to share this with you. Uh, so this is the greenhouse. We put it up last year, and uh, you can see it's uh, it didn't survive the first year very well. I got the wrong plastic. Wouldn't it be great if we could just... And something new would be done? I was really shocked when I saw this. I was taking down this uh, roofing plastic and the number of butterflies and moths and just insects that got trapped in the plastic. It's like bummer, dude. I can't believe that so many insects perished right there over that. I'm gonna finish taking down uh, the plastic right here. And uh, what a mess. Use greenhouse plastic. Don't try to get by with other stuff. It's a bad idea.
Well, that's all the plastic down. Well, nearly all the plastic down. I've got to redo the door. I've got some work to do around the door. So that's what's next. <sighs> this is easy. Josh, in your yard homestead, you inspired these hinges here just to help me hang the door, hang the fencing on it. And then uh, that simple gate with hinges is inspired by any yard homestead. I'll try and remember to get a link. It's been a long time. I'll try to get a card in. I think it's gonna be there. We'll see. So um, getting this opened up and stretched out to 21 feet is kind of a chore. I really don't quite understand the way it's folded up. It comes out unulated like this. Never seen that before. Well, this is where we are. We've got the plastic stretched over. You can see just how wonderful my woodworking skills are now. Still got to work on the door here. And uh, we've got this beautiful side that's facing east. And uh, you can see we're kind of putting in batter boards to help. I think I'm going to leave this one where I can roll it up some. I don't know. Quite by accident, you see that says inside? Greenhouse plastic is reversible. Uh, there's a coating on the inside that's gonna deflect the sun and that's where your UV protecting is. If you don't want that to wash off, then you lay it to the inside like it says. I didn't see that until, uh, no sir, get down, nope. You know, a, uh, a willow bucket is something that uh, every gardener really needs to have. I'm just piecing together what I'm going to sow today before it gets dark, and I'm, I think I found it right here. Nope. Yes. Amaranth. This bigger mulberry tree just uh checking the buds looks like we're in pretty good shape even the tip i may trim it back though and give it a little shape i'll do that when i plant it so i took the uh, covers off it's really too moist it's almost growing mold um I hope I'm not too late getting those covers off, but disappointed in the viola sprouts. Uh, it looks like they're coming just a little slow, which is what I expected this time of year. But they really enjoy that cool grow. Chicken's out. Uh, they're not ready to go up just yet, I guess. This is the evening in uh, late January. It's warm today. It's in the upper 50s, mid 50s really a nice day to work in the yard. I'm glad I'm able to enjoy it. today so we're checking for leaks as well I've been busy really really busy did a lot of cleaning up <clears throat> my willow water bucket my, my willow's about to bud I gotta get something done with this water but I um, moved the chives and uh, artichokes are still out here Move some of these little babies out. These are violas. Whole tray of violas. Um, this is, oh, almost the end of those, but that's a coal crop, as you can see. Spinach, rhubarb, kale, broccoli, stuff like that. And 
this is yarrow and viola and a bunch of um, thyme. Yeah. We're growing in the greenhouse again. Uh, super, super excited. What's the temperature? Check it out. We can tell the high and low temperature and the humidity. I'd love to put a better ending on this video, but I've got to go back to work. Got home uh, just in time to, to put a few seeds in the trays with Miss Woodcutter and uh, make sure the greenhouse is squared away. Still need to do some chicken pen work, but uh, we'll be back in the gardens after I get back off of this float. Um, got a little bit of a run for about a week. Excited to have it. Know that I love you. God bless you all. We'll be uh, RV transporting and gardening. You know how we do. Thanks for coming by. Hey, know that I love you all. And God bless you. See you on the next one.